Well, hello everybody and welcome. Uh, for those of you joining me for the first time, my name is Roger and this is your Daily Tarot Map for Thursday, July, July 9th, 2015, using tarot to create the life you want. Well, first off, a big thumbs up to everybody for liking uh, these videos, for sharing them on your social networks, for subscribing to my channel, uh, as well as for all your wonderful comments and emails. I really appreciate your support and I appreciate you watching. So today, we continue our work with the Shadowscapes Tarot, created and illustrated by Stephanie Pui Moon Law. And the three cards drawn randomly from the deck today were the Hermit, the Ace of Cups, and the Hanged Man. So by the looks of these cards today, I'd say that it looks as though you're going to be starting on a major spiritual journey soon, or or at least this might be weighing heavily on your mind. Now the first card that I'll draw today is the Hermit, uh, a card of seclusion and withdrawal from the world. You know, the Hermit all, often comes up in a reading when we're ready to embark upon a spiritual quest of sorts, perhaps a quest for self. Now, you may be at the point where you feel called to, to something greater, but you might not be quite sure what that is. Now, this is what this card is all about. It's the search for meaning, and that's the fun part. Now, given that this is a card of solitude, this might be something uh, you're going to want to explore on your own. But it's also worth mentioning here that the hermit can indicate a wise teacher or leader. So, becoming involved uh, in a mentor-teacher relationship is also a possibility here. Now, the hermit represents a search of a search of some kind, and the card next to it usually points to the aim of that search, which in this case is the Ace of Cups, a card of uh, new feelings, of, uh, of intuitive and uh, emotional energy. We could also correspond to spiritual and or psychic development, uh, even enlightenment, which, which given the other two cards flanking this one, I'd say that that's a distinct possibility. So you might want to work on developing your skills by finding a, uh, a mentor, as we did, uh, mentioned earlier, or even attending uh, spiritual courses or programs if you wish to awaken the spiritual side of yourself. Now, the idea of spiritual enlightenment is further reinforced by our last card today, the Hanged Man. Now, this is a card of major transition, during which you might feel as though you're caught between the old and the new. You know, it suggests transcendence of uh, releasing material concerns and focusing on the spiritual, on enlightenment. Now, there is a lesson to be learned here if you're willing to take on the challenge, but a warning, it is a slow lesson, and learning it will take time. So don't be in too much of a rush here. You know, a weekend workshop isn't going to cut it in this case. And instead, take your time. Allow yourself to awaken slowly and enjoy the journey. Now, spiritually, things have may already have begun shifting around for you, and and if you keep uh, if you keep at it, there is insight and knowledge to be gained. Your entire perspective and worldview uh, might be changed at the end of it. So, though it might be slow going and challenging at times, the results will be worth the effort if you stick with it. So, the message for these three cards today is. A spiritual quest can open up many new and exciting areas of life for you. If you hear the call, it might be time to answer. So today's advice card comes from the Chronicles of Destiny fortune cards, and the card drawn randomly from the deck is number 29, Gatekeeper. Okay, it looks like our oracle cards are really conspiring this week to support the message of our, of our three-card draw. The gatekeeper is someone who unlocks secrets, perhaps even those secrets that we've been searching for our entire lives. This is an auspicious card and um, in that it removes obstacles and opens doors for you, the exact theme that we've been talking about today. The gatekeeper could very well represent a person, maybe that trusted spiritual teacher or mentor that, uh, that we mentioned earlier. So it might be time to begin the search for someone who can help you unlock those doors.
And uh, that is your daily tarot map for today. Uh, if you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you click the like button below. And uh, feel free to visit my website at tarot-dude.com to learn more about my work uh, or to book a consultation with me. And uh, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Brightest blessings.